nomination. I mean, extremely grateful to them. Yeah. Mama, I also want to thank the district leaders, the chief administrative officers, district and urban education officials, monitors, scouts, and invigilators for their participation and support in the field conduct of the examination, and also the examiners who took time to mark this examination. Honorable Minister, I wish in a very special way to appreciate the staff of the Uganda National Examinations Board Secretariat, who always rise to the occasion to serve their country with dedication and hard work. Mama, these are the unsung heroes. I also like, with your permission, to allow them to step in front and take a, a bow so that you see the ones who are representing the others who are here. Mama, they are led by the director examinations on your extreme left, and the others are representing the directorate of examinations and the public relations office. This is representing the team that works so hard behind the scenes. Mama, I would like to thank the media for the role that they played and they continue to play in giving prominence to examination activities and also exposing malpractice. Those pictures of the suspects that they took and that appeared in the electronic and print media played very, very deterrent roles during that time. I wish to congratulate all the candidates who have passed the examination at whatever grade they obtained, because all the grades from one to four will enable them to proceed to the next level. We would like to thank the teachers who prepared them and also their parents and guardians for the support. Finally, I wish to thank the institutions that allowed the Uganda National Examinations Board to use their premises and facilities to mark the PLE, uh, despite the fact that this exercise affected their school holiday and the Christmas period. For collection of results, Mama, I want to inform the country that results will be uploaded on the center portals. We now have a direct electronic link with every examination center and as soon as you release results for the use by the public, we shall upload these results on the portals so that they can download their results from the comfort of their schools or from wherever they can do. However, the district and municipal and city inspectors of schools may still collect the hard copies. We shall make them available for each school in each district and local governments. This may be collected from our offices in Intinda starting from Monday, 29th January, 2024. As of now, there are no hard copies available and I do not advise any district inspector of schools to travel to UNEB uh, today or even tomorrow, which in any case happens to be uh, a public holiday. No copies are available as of now, as I've said, parents and candidates and other interested parties may also use the SMS on their mobile networks, which will post the results of their candidates on their mobile um, sets instantly. I just wish to remind them on how to get this message. Uh, they will open the menu uh, the message menu, then type PLE, then leave space, 
and type the full index number of the candidates. After you've ty uh, typed the full index number of the candidate of your interest, you send this to 6600 on the MTN and Airtel networks. Many times, people get this instruction wrong and they start ringing our public relations office and everybody else telling them that they cannot get the results. So I want to repeat that they should type PLE, leave a space, and the full index number of the candidates. When I talk about index number, I mean the school number, which is several digits, and then the individual number of the candidate. These candidates should be able to know their numbers and send to 6600. They should be able to get their results instantly. Honorable Minister Mama, thank you so much for listening to me. I submit. Thank you so much, Mr. Dongo. Before you resume your seat, I would like you to accompany your chairperson. And in recognition of the contribution of the former chairperson, please, Professor Kwakol, accompany the current chairperson and the executive director to hand over the results. Professor, you're not expired, you're inspired. <laughs> so please step forward and hand over the results to the First Lady. Thank you, Professor Celestino. Former Chair Professor Kwakol and Executive Director Daniel Odong. Now I'll invite Honorable Joyce Kaduchu to invite Mama to give her statement. Honorable, you're welcome. Mama, the First Lady and Minister of Education and Sports, my colleague, the Honorable Ministers of States and the Minister of Education and Sports, the Permanent Secretary in the Minister of Education and Sports, the Chairperson of the Board and the former Chair of the Board, the Executive Director of UNEB, all the senior members of staff of the Ministry of Education and Sports and UNEB, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Mama, today we are here to celebrate a credible achievement in the education cycle of our children which is the foundation for them to realize their full potentials. This achievement wouldn't have been possible if it were not for the sacrifice and hard work of thousands of our heroes under your able leadership, Mama. On behalf of the Education Fraternity, and on my own behalf, permit me to congratulate you, Mama Janet, and all the candidates, the parents, the teachers, and all stakeholders as we celebrate the 2023 PLE results. We do not take this achievement for granted. This is a huge milestone because it directly impacts on the future of our learners. 
Mama, your leadership and strategic guidance of the, mini, of the education sector in this country has made it possible for us to work hard as a team and to achieve these results. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been called here to invite Mama, but permit me to give two points before I invite Mama to address the country and officially release the PLE 2023 results. Point number one, there is a biblical story about the parable of the talents. In Matthew 25, 14 to 30, tells us of a master who was leaving his house to travel and before leaving, he entrusted his property to his servants. According to the ability of each servant, one servant received five talents. The second servant received two, and the third received one talent. Upon returning home after long absence, the master asked his three servants for an accountability of the talents he had entrusted to them. The first and the second servants explained that they each put their talents to work and had doubled the value of the property with which they were entrusted. Each servant was rewarded. The master said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I'll make you ruler over many things. Similarly, ladies and gentlemen, we have all been entrusted with a responsibility according to our ability to secure the future of our children as leaders, as directors, as head teachers, as teachers, as parents, as non-teaching staff, etc., etc. Today we are called upon to give full accountability on how we use our talents to produce the best results in order to secure the future of our children. The PLE 2023 results will certainly reflect our individual and collective responsibility and commitment towards laying a solid foundation for our children for better learning outcomes. The PLE results is one of the most important indicators to evaluate progress made by government and all stakeholders in improving access and equity, efficiency and quality of teaching and learning outcome through a shared responsibility. It's therefore my prayer that we all play our individual roles in order to produce a comprehensive all-round children for the future of our country. Point number two, Mama, Permit me to salute our fountain of honor, His Excellency General Yuere Kaguta Museveni, for being the brainchild behind the UPE program in Uganda. To date, the literacy level in Uganda has significantly improved. It has gone to 76% from 43% in 1997. This increment is very critical for Uganda, for Uganda's desired goal of transforming the economy into a modern country. The UPE strategy showed the school enrollment increase from 2.5 million in 1996 to 3.1 learners in 1997 when UPE was introduced 
and now the enrollment stands at 8.6 million learners in government-aided schools that are getting UPE capitation grant. Today, ladies and gentlemen, as MAMA releases the results, 66.9% of the candidates are UPE beneficiaries compared to 33.1% of the candidates who are in non-UPE schools. The UPE program in Uganda demonstrates that a country like Uganda can fight poverty through ensuring universal access to education for its citizens. Ladies and gentlemen, despite the significant achievement of bringing services to our children closer, there are still some few challenges in delivering these services. And the good news is that we are all committed to play our different roles towards overcoming these challenges. Mama, the timely conclusion of the examination process is indeed a true confirmation that your neighbor is always prepared to perform despite all the challenges that they do encounter. I am pleased to record to you, Mama, to note that your neighbor now has put in place tested mechanisms for fighting examination malpractices than ever before. We applaud UNEP for standing tall in maintaining the integrity of our examinations over the years. As I conclude to our parents, being a parent is an incredible blessing from the Lord. Raising children and watching them grow into great personality can bring such a great joy in the family. Parents, celebrate the joy of PLE with your children. Even those children who do not perform to your expectations, please carry them. Show them love. Encourage them and give them hope because their future is still bright with our collective support and guidance. Lastly, I'm appealing to all parents, guidance and sponsors to register all our children in schools and let them report to schools promptly for the new term that begins on Monday, 5th February, 2024. I say all this for God and my country. It's now my singular honor and my privilege to now invite you, Mama, the First Lady, and the Minister of Education and Sports to address the nation and officially release the PLE 2023 results. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together to welcome Mama as she comes to address the nation. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Kaduchu. Please sit down. My colleagues, the Honorable Ministers of State present here this afternoon, the PS for the Minister of Education and Sports, and your team, the Chairperson of UNEB, the Executive Director, for your neighbor and your team, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you and happy new year to you all. I wish to first of all thank God for the very gift of life and for a new year. And that uh, he is so gracious to us that we all are here, none of us is missing. We must remember to thank him for his faithfulness. He has indeed enabled us as a ministry and as a country 
to complete the 2023 school calendar activities now culminating in the release of the 2023 primary living examination results. We thank God for the lives of our children, their parents and teachers who have worked with them throughout their primary education cycle. We also condole with the families that may have lost their children to one cause or another, as well as teachers who passed away on duty. The calling upon teachers is a, uh, the calling on teachers we must always remember, is a special calling. It is unique because it is sacrificial and much cannot be accomplished in the learner's time in school when the teacher is unavailable. You all heard for yourselves the statement of release of results by the executive director of UNEP. I note that the number of learners who were registered for the PLE in 2023 decreased compared with what we had in 2022, and you had the explanation for that. The decrease was anticipated as an impact of COVID-19 on the education system started to win, and so is the distortion in enrollment in the pre-primary seven classes, especially P6. The major COVID-19 recovery intervention that is still underway in the education sector is implementation of the abridged curriculum. I have been informed by the National Curriculum Development Center that the P7 and S4 cohorts of 2024 are the last classes of learners utilizing the abridged curriculum. Thereafter, we shall be using the full primary school curriculum and the revised O-level curriculum after this year. I am happy to see that this year, the negative development of absentee candidates to PLE has been reversed. In fact, the rate has come down to the lowest level compared to the previous five years, as you had Mr. Odong inform us and inform the country. Nonetheless, 1.6% or 12,000 pupils who were absent remains a large number. When a child fails to show up for the end of cycle examination, it is a wastage of that life which had spent six to now seven years, and then the government spent the resources for the entire education system, and then the families who are working with these children. When this child doesn't sit their exam, it is truly a pity, a pity for the whole system. Therefore, I reiterate the appeal I made last year to the parents and to the teachers to ensure that a child who has been registered to see to their end of cycle examination does not miss doing so. Whereas I recognize the great strides the country has made taken in bringing about gender parity in access to primary education for boys and girls. I observe the concerning trend regarding the poor child. The statistics from UNEP indicate that we are now seeing an undesirable trend whereby more and more girls are completing the primary education cycle while boys are increasingly dropping out. This is a moment for us as a sector to look back and reflect on this undesirable trend. 
Why is a boy child not completing primary education? We must all begin to get worried and try to find out what is the answer to this question. We need to prescribe solutions that address the fu fundamental causes to prevent this negative trend from getting out of control. Now, I must continue to thank UNEB for the amount of work they do to ensure that our children with special learning needs are adequately prepared to take the examination. In my view, the number of special needs education learners who seek PLE are increasing, not because we are having more children with disabilities, but the sensitization being done and realization by more parents that these children must not be kept at home, but that they also must go to school, just like all other children. I appreciate the concern by the chairperson that the provision of the necessary accommodation, dev devices, and uh, personnel for the special needs candidates is costing the examination process for this category of learners a lot more money, as you heard him inform us. We shall study further this area of uh, assessment and examination of uh, special needs learners and see what feasible interventions we need to make in a manageable manner without compromising the quality of education this category of learners assesses and attains. From the executive director's report, I observed that a high number of candidates did not attain the grades where one would be considered as having passed. Therefore, quality for the PLE certificate, sorry, they didn't qualify for the PLE certificates. Government is going to ensure that this trend is reversed right from its root cause. That said, as government, we need to provide a pathway of hope to these learners. Therefore, I have instructed the permanent secretary for the Ministry of Education and sports to communicate to the respective accounting of officers in the local governments that such learners be accorded an opportunity to repeat primary seven in all public primary schools. And then we can all work hard with them to better their grades to a level where they can qualify for the various opportunities of education beyond primary seven. Meaning, as the children try to work hard themselves, the parents must support them, the teachers must support them, and also the Ministry of Education do everything it will take to support these children so that we see them through this level of education so that they too can at least get a certificate for primary education as they go out into the world. Even if they don't continue, but at least they have that certificate in their hands. Furthermore, as a ministry, we are going to have to review the arrangement where learners were being progressed to the next class before attaining the minimum knowledge and skills as evidence of learning. This means that the head teachers and classroom teachers alike need to be thorough with what continuous assessment is supposed to help these children. It is a disservice to move a learner to the next level when you as a teacher or head teacher very well know that the child has not demonstrated minimum min um, mastery of the appropriate knowledge and skills in the previous class. It is a disservice to that child. It is a service to the whole system of education. Therefore, I ask the Directorate of Education Standards to work with the district education offices to ensure that capacity is built 
in our schools to utilize formative assessment because promoting a learner to the next class simply because the year has come to an end is a disservice to that child, to education, and to the country. That said now, allow me to also appreciate the efforts of the various security agencies of government that jointly support UNEP in achieving our ministry mandate during these end of cycle examinations. I call upon the Uganda Police Force and the judiciary to help us bring to book those persons proven to be complicit in any form of examination malpractice. The act of assisting learners to cheat in examination erodes the confidence and credibility of the entire education system and the integrity of the country at large. When such learners who cheat go through unmasked, it communicates a bad image to the peers and models a terrible trend in education and in examination. I now congratulate the candidates who have performed well and thank everyone who played a role in bringing forth the achievement of the 2023 PLE. I thank the immediate former chairperson of UNEB, Professor Mary Okoko, because most of the 2023 UNEB exams were prepared during her term of office, as you heard from the present chairperson. With that, I welcome Professor Obua as well as a new chairperson, and I trust that he will build on the strong foundations his predecessor laid down. Lastly, I'd like to inform the public that the selection exercises of Senior 1 will take place on the 1st and 2nd of Feb 2024. Thereafter, the first term for the Senior 1 cohort of 2024 will start on Monday the 19th, Feb 2024. I want to repeat that. The selection exercise for Senior 1 will take place on the 1st and 2nd of February 2024. Therefore, thereafter, first term for the Senior 1 cohort of 2024 will start on Monday, the 19th Feb 2024. It is now my pleasure to release the 2023 primary living examination results for public use, and God bless you all. Thank you. Mama, before you go, we want to have a, a photo moment where the ministers of state join you there as you officially release the results. Honorable Mingo, Narebo Kaduchu, and Honorable Gwang, please join Mama. And Chair Yuneb and the Executive Director. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mama, our Honorable Ministers of State in Education, the Chairperson UNEB, and Executive Director UNEB, Daniel Odong. As Mama resumes her seat, I invite Honorable Muyingo to come over and give a Uganda summary 
high level summary <laughs> of what Mama has said. Um, yes. Of what Mama has said, and thereafter we shall have the anthems in reverse order and close the function. Mama, the First Lady and Minister of Education and the Sports, my colleague, Honorable Ministers, the Chairman and members of the UNEP Board, and the staff, ladies and gentlemen. I've been given a very simple assignment of translating all that has been said since morning <laughs> in three sentences. Mamo Rwalero Ofrumiza Evigezo, 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 Biavana Vafe, Avako Echom Sanvo, Omako Gwede. Mamo Rwade, Ayogara Jeturi. At Yebazi Zanyo, Mukama Katonda, Rivera Benvinji, Piatua, Yoma from Pia Mulonji, Nadala, Vila Oviava, Nava Fe, Navaza de Bawe, Ava P7, Afrin to Brani to Bamungalo. Mama Yebazi Zumkama Katonda, Urava Sumisa, Navaza de Navasava. Iranavo to a civilian government of Romanimo Burundi. Moving to Evio Geduam, Unebu, Secretariat, Mama, I need him to be at Konyeko, Abikuru. But who will be the results? Abana, the one this, sir. Number, you might have been bad then Kwenkana nkana nbo jigira ganyo ino mwa kogwe de. Ile nsonga. Sekitaba yunebu ya zoge de. Mwa kaguli ya bambu wa tuwa lavana wa mwe. Ni mba kwesa P7 nga wina kubamu P6. Biyo ebini nyola ebizu webi mu. Echimu kubitu mama wya genti. Haba nsoma kwa kutambu la bulu unji. Netamu ya limu unji. Tuwa mara kunga suina vizivu. Nga bituwa funa, bituwa banga na veda. Ni waluwe vichia tuluma. Nga fabali, abafuna ingizi wa kebe njigiri zandu. Zani muna Uganda yenye buweweyo. Echimu kubiyo. Bevana abachia aliava nji. Abe wandi iso kore evigezo. Ni wata alika ko. Kuruna kore evigezo nga bitu use. Bogendo gila ganya ni nambe zaso. Kazali mino kusina zetufuru mizoro alero. Ni umu tuwaro ugumu. Mwenku miebili. Abana matuwa kwa zivi gezo. Da, da namba nini ya tuinu kwa alikia. Tunuonyeleze na matuwa kwa tunuonyeleze kifuwa kuchi. Na ina kubila umu nanga abu na wana wakwati wako. Tusalama gezi gonaga soboka. Ntibuli mwana ino kwa mu P7. Nga hii sebulu unji. Ateke da teke da ulu unji. Asano kuyambi wako kwa vanti akole hivi gezo. Amareko saiko heyo. Echoku bi mama ekimwera likiriza ando za nafefe na kitwera likiriza ku kulaba ngo mwana omulenzi namba ya bana abola abakola P7 bamala ko yeyongera waguru ne yo mulenze kabusi tuyo vuna nzi bwana kulaba anti abalenzi nabo wala bwana tubawa obusobozi obuma obugenda ku somero atera bamaleko mama asanyise olwaba Abana bafe, abaino bulemu, kumibili jabwe, abaya ambidu wako. Nia ni tusabibwa, tuongelemu amanyi. Nia yela likila tuwela likila fe, nama tula baba na abata lava. Ngapanji mubo, baga ya wako levigezo. Ani nabata hitaburunji, amani nabata hitila dala. Alagide tuchinonyi rezeko. Nina amba ya abana, abanji, abagua. Tuise ungraded. Na yetu ila likiriza. Mama lagide permanent secretary na haba kufuati wako enso mga zino. Haba kumitendu ni jinja ulo. Tusalefe na magizi. Ukulaba nti habana wa firama na P7. Ngatiba sobo dide kufuna maxi sobo 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 kufuna certificate. Habana wa wewe mkisa. Bademo ichi vina. Yatu bayambe. 
bafume somero nga bayina certificate esobola bongera yo oboku bwera anti bajja kugula kula nyinsi ya fe um okusomesa umwan no musindi kabusindi sibusindi singa tai nati nga tafuni ya nakufuna mwako ogo mama akigamint si kintu kirunji abasomesa abazadde tusalama giz ukulanti abana festuma naga bayisa mu system just ukula bukuluzi amuke mwaitanga automatic promotion nchyo mwana gutu kuchibi kumungu mwako ogudako ateke doku banga afunye obukugu bwetaga minimum bwetaga yebaziza bona bona abayambe ku nebu sijabadda mu security na balala lama mayonge dokenya mira olokubanti wachi aliwo okubba okubira mu bibigezo ekintu ekyo nebu ekoze kinyi nyu kulabanti erwanyi kulabanti chikendera ne tugamba anti kisobola okwewalibwa singa fena fena tukola ekitufu ni judicial yetu yambe na ba police na police na bachi okulanga omuziku no mubi ogwokubira mbigezo kuvi ya drama education system mama akulisiza abo nabonna abana bafa bakole bigezo nibaza debabwe olwa kino kyetu kyetu gendo okula okusebrating olwa lero natugamba anti nge nakuzo mwezi lumuni bili february abana umwaka guno selection exercise ya kubaita andika waliye wafe atenna kuzo mwezi 19 ogwo kubiri tamu ya sinya wanu lejo kutandika mama nsonyiwa spanyi bitu siza ndo za sentence ebadde mu muka <laughs> bagaliza ona ko lunji uh, thank you so much honorable muyingo uh, honorable gwang will give, get an opportunity next year to translate in Uganda <laughs> Shall we ask anthems, please? And uh, after that, we shall depart. The mama has another event taking place here, so we shall clear as fast as possible. Anthems. <laughs> to depart at leisure, not at leisure, in a responsible speed as we prepare this in place for another event chaired by the First Lady.
Kusta TV.